PJTM Watchmen, it's Laurie Cardoza Moore, and I wanted to share with you an incident that uh, that happened to me last week when I was speaking to a group, and this was a group of conservatives. These are people who are patriots. They love our country, and this is not the first time this has happened to me, but there was a couple that was there, and I believe they were put there as a plant to try to undermine my message. And you all know that PJTN's mission is to educate Christians to stand with Israel and the Jewish people against the rise of global anti-Semitism. And we accomplish that mission by producing award-winning documentary films and television programs to help educate Christians to understand what's happening and why we should support our Jewish brethren in the state of Israel. Well, there was a couple at this event at the end, they, instead of asking a question, they wanted to make a comment. And they took issue with the fact that I am defending the Jews, that I support Israel. And they started with their anti-Semitic trope about how the Jews are in control of the media. And that's why we're in this situation. Well, of course, I responded back to them and it said, excuse me, what about the Jews who have been supportive of America? What about the Jews who are giving their, their time and their resources to help us save this country? And, you know, um, a woman, another woman stood up in the midst at, as this conversation was going back and forth. Of course, I told them that I was insulted by their comments, that this is anti-Semitism. These comments that they were making were, were anti-Semitic. They're like the ancient tropes, the tropes that the anti-Semitic tropes we've heard throughout history. The, Jew, oh, the Jews control all the banks and the Jews control all the, the media and they control Hollywood and they control this and they control that. Really? Well, you know, there was a woman who stood up and she talked about Dr. Simone Gold, who was just released from federal prison. Why? Because she was in the Capitol on January 6th with her megaphone and she was talking about COVID and the masking. And because her message didn't resonate with the, the powers that be in Washington, D.C., she was arrested. She was put in jail. She served time. And... When this woman brought this up, I looked at the couple and I said, yes, and Dr. Simone Gold happens to be a Jew. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to be very careful. I know that there's been a lot of flack about the Kanye West and Candace Owens situation. And let me tell you, Kanye, he dug a hole for himself. I don't know what he was thinking, but he used he stated that he's a Jew, he's a real Jew because he's black. Well, there are black Jews. There are black Ethiopians who are Jewish. They have um, assimilated or they have gone back to Israel. There are tribes, the, Lem the Lemba tribe in Africa, the Zulu tribe in Africa. They also say that they are Jewish. Their ties are back to um, Sheba when she had her relationship with Solomon. So we know that there are blacks who are Jews. But to make the statement he made, that was basically saying that you have to be black in order to be a Jew. Well, that's wrong, and that's anti-Semitic. And that's what the, the black Jewish nationalists say about white Jews. It's anti-Semitic. And for Candace Owens to make a comment, and she said that, she insisted that honest people did not think that West's tweet was anti-Semitic. Honest people, Candace, knew his statement was anti-Semitic. For anyone who studies anti-Semitism, as I have all these years, trying to fight it within the Christian community so that we don't let the age-old ancient tropes rule how we feel about our Jewish brethren, and that we will stand with our Jewish brethren. We won't be like the German Christians, and I mean Catholic and Protestant German Christians who stood by while their brother Jacob was held in captivity. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're not just fighting. I'm not just exposing anti-Semitism now on the far right, the far left, and radical Islam. Now, it's not just the far right and the far left and radical Islam. 
it's the right and the left. We have to be very careful what we're doing. To, again, blame the Jews, the Jewish community only makes up, the, the whole total Jewish population of the world only makes up 2% of the whole world population. So what can Jews do, It really, in any number, that is going to affect anything other than the future of the globe and our nation? And that comes back to Genesis 12.3. And this couple brought up that Christians use Genesis 12.3, I will bless those who bless you and curse him who curses you. And of course, I said to her, that's God's scripture. If you got a problem with that Bible verse, you need to talk to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is dangerous. We are heading in a dangerous direction. We are introducing our children to anti-Semitic comments. We are rewriting history about Israel in our textbooks. It's no wonder more and more people are believing these lies. So I'm asking you, ladies and gentlemen, do not get sucked up into this. Do not believe these lies and this disinformation. Remember, it was these anti-Semitic tropes have been used for centuries against the Jews. But remember who Haim Solomon was, especially for those of us in America. Like Simone Gold, she had her front door bashed in and she was arrested by the FBI and falsely accused. Well, Haim Solomon, a wealthy Jewish banker, bankrolled the American Revolution for George Washington. He died without a penny to his name. He gave everything he had to sacrifice for this country. And is this how we're going to treat the Jews? Do you know how many Jews are funding this, these initiatives to try to save America, these Jews who are patriots? Ladies and gentlemen, do not believe these lies. Candace Owens should go back. She should apologize publicly. She should condemn Kanye West. Honest people do know that it's anti-Semitic, but obviously Candace has not done her homework. And for her to back up or to, to stand with Kanye on this, she should have told him, do the right thing, Kanye, and apologize. That's what should happen, ladies and gentlemen. Is Kanye big enough to do that? Is his pride too big? Because we're told in the prophet by the prophet Obadiah that in the last days, God would wipe out the descendants of Edom because they stood by while their brother Jacob was held in captivity and they did nothing. Is Kanye like that? Is Kanye a descendant of Edom? Because if he was a Jew, he knows Torah requires that he walk in unity with his brother. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so thankful for you. I'm so thankful that you take the time to educate yourself that you inform yourself. This is happening in our generation. And if we don't stop it, I fear for what could happen in America. Just as German Christians turned a blind eye to the Jews who were beaten, butchered, experimented on, slaughtered, all of them, men, women, and children, and the Christians didn't think a thing about it. Yes, there were some, like Corey Tim Boone and Martin E. Moeller, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, but the majority of Christians believed the Nazi lie. Ladies and gentlemen, don't fall for these lies. God has a, a plan and a purpose for our brother Judah and there to show the world how to worship the one true God. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I pray that you will share this message with your family and friends. Get the word out there. God bless you. And thank you for all you do 
on behalf of our Jewish brethren and for the state of Israel. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to vote. It's coming up on November 8th. Where does your elected official or the candidate who's running, where do they stand on Israel and on the anti-Semitism against our brother Judah?